posted March 8, 2019 6 hours 41 minutes and 43 seconds 10 years since leaving the army, Troy Burgess is still adjusting to civilian life, I still miss it, I don't think I'll ever not miss it, Mr. Burgess said, but you've just got to get to the point, I think, you've got to accept that you can't do it anymore, Mr. Burgess spent seven years in one RAR infantry battalion in Townsville and during that time served in the Solomon Islands and Afghanistan. Adjusting to civilian life had been pretty difficult, a transition that was being made harder because of injuries sustained during service which restricted his movement and playing his beloved rugby league. I've played rugby since I was five, Mr. Burgess said, when I joined the army, I didn't play as often obviously due to the job and then when I got out, I played for a bit again, but injuries kept catching up and just got to the point where I just couldn't do it anymore, but a national initiative between the National Rugby League, NRL, and Veterans Sports Australia, VSA, is giving veterans like Mr. Burgess the opportunity to get back into sport, their community. He is the first person in Australia to be an accredited referee in the Battlefield to Footy Field program which is fully funded training and support for veterans to become rugby league referees in their own communities. It was inspired by a similar concept in the United States called Battlefield to Ball Park. Mr. Burgess said it was pure luck that he came across the program and he was excited at the thought of the mateship and once again being part of a team. I haven't been able to play footy for a few years due to injuries but it's another way to be involved in the sport without having to actually play, he said. I used to go down to the club that I played at and just help out whenever I could in setting up for the games for the weekend, but it obviously wasn't the same as being out on the fields, so hopefully this will fill that gap a bit. Combating isolation veteran Jeff Sentence, from Woodford north of Brisbane, left the army in 1994 after 16 years. He said many veterans found the transition from the team environment in the defence force to civilian life quite isolating. He believed the program would make a huge difference by getting the vets out of their houses, their lounge rooms and maybe even their bedrooms, and onto the footy field, back into community and feeling worthwhile. If we can get them back in a team environment, even if it's refereeing, it's still a team environment. Because they're around other referees, they're around a social club, I'm hoping it could change perspective and help them move a little bit forward. Mr. Sentence's physical injuries do not allow him to run on a footy field, but the NRL gave him accreditation and utilize him as an ambassador for the program. Steve Clark, a former NRL referee and the organization's development program's lead, instigated the program in Australia. He said irrespective of Mr. Sentence's physical capacity, he had skills which could not be ignored. It's another aspect of this program where we want to give the military return servicemen and women the opportunity to be in our game and not necessarily running on the field but in Jeff's case, be someone who sits in the grandstand coaching and mentoring and meeting younger people within in our game, Mr. Clark said. He said the skills service personnel have often paralleled what was required for officiating, displaying authority, making decisions, thinking quickly on their feet and being challenged. But ongoing support from the organization was crucial, rather than just say, there's your accreditation to your best, it's important to have someone walking with you to help you into the system because it can be quite confronting for some people, others not so, Mr. Clark said, refereeing is a team environment which may come as a surprise, and that's something that a lot of Defence Force personnel have been used to in their time in the service, we want to help their introduction to that team environment in the refereeing world be seamless, and smooth and enjoyable. Michael Hardung, the General Manager of Veterans Sport Australia, said sport was a great vehicle when recovering from trauma or for those who just want to be part of a team. He said there was scope for the model to extend to other sporting codes, hopefully we'll see right across the other sporting codes opportunities to referee or coach, to participate as a competitor or just a social sporting activity, it really doesn't matter the activity but providing these opportunities to veterans, whatever they might be, can really make a significant difference. Okay to not be oak okay after completing training on the Sunshine Coast recently, Mr Burgess put his newfound skills into action this week for the first time when he was touch judge for a defence force round 
round-robin tournament in Sydney, it was a bit nerve-wracking before the games but once you got onto the field and into it, it was good. Mr Burgess said, it's better than what I thought it would be, or all the blokes you deal with are down-to-earth good blokes, I feel a lot more confident in my ability, I'll be telling some mates about it, the program, because I know that they'd be keen, they're pretty fanatical about rugby league, Mr Sentence, who was in Sydney to see Mr Burgess's debut, said he would be spreading the word to veteran support. Groups including mates for mates, young diggers, young veterans and soldier on, it's a big thing for a veteran or an ex-veteran to say that they've got an issue, it's a big shame thing sometimes, Mr Sentence said, there's a lot of veterans that have come back from war situations and feel not the greatest, I'm not saying that all veterans feel this way but there's certainly a good majority of them that feel that they can't do things because of the injuries they've incurred, sometimes it's mental health, sometimes it's physical, a physical injury is really easy to see if someone's limping or someone can't carry or they're missing an arm or a leg, they're easy to identify but the mental health is really, really hard, and the benefits extended to families, it's not just the veteran, it's the whole family which feels the after effects, so I think if we can get everyone involved it would be wonderful, Mr Burgess agreed, my wife's excited about it, getting me out and doing something a bit more active so she'll be pretty stoked and it's doing something that I like, topics, rugby league, veterans, human interest, sport, Woodford 4514, Maroochydore 455, Townsville 4810